I am back, baby. COVID's not keeping this guy down more than twice. Audience, he's all yours now. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Bradley Cooper. Helen Mirren did the same thing. <laughs> Feels so good being back. Let it out, come on. I'm just seeing people again, That's special. As you can see, we are live after Joe Biden's first official State of the Union address. Are, are, we, are, we, are we not clapping? Don't get all warmed up on me now. <laughs> okay. Because they'll blur your hands. Would they, hey, would they blur her hands if she said bad words with her hands? Why don't we find out? <laughs> you! So wow! Nothing! I'm terrible! This is a good date. <laughs> You're the sexiest man alive. You're the sexiest man alive. You're the sexiest man alive. Here, I'll take that for you. I'll, I'll, just, I'll, put, it back, I'll put it back. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Lord of the Rings is without a doubt the greatest trilogy in movie history. I know I may have said that many times before, but I have never, not once, wrapped it. It's the number one trilogy, the number one trilly. Try to deny it and you just sound silly. Lord of the Rings is the number one trilly. Movie so sick, I gotta take an ad, Billy. When I'm sipping daffodillies, sipping chamomillies. Lord of the Rings is the number one trilly. Trilly, trilly. The mission statement of this show is that we talk about what everyone's talking about, and for some reason, everyone is talking about this. Possibly to avoid talking about everything else. Okay, there's no need to panic. No, no, bad lawmakers, bad. Off, off. Sir, you're not making any sense. You're right, I'm a little confused. Let me talk to my chief of staff. <laughs> Words, they're like Republicans. They don't want to work with me, but I keep trying anyway. Explain to me as if I were a child. <laughs> well, Stephen. Um... <laughs> The potential charge against the former president and his campaign is a criminal conspiracy to defraud the United States. To paraphrase an idiot and his bloodthirsty mob, lock him up. I've never had my own bloodthirsty mob before, but sometimes, just sometimes. I shamble down to the docks with a rusty crowbar, scrape the barnacles off a passing garbage scow, toss them in a pot with some half-used ramen flavor packets and Mountain Dew until it vaguely resembles the hungering wolf that scratches at the door of my dreams and present to you the scrawny, unpolished, third-string punter of news, the tormented, dread effigy of news, fugitive New Year's hoedown of news that is my segment. Broken man on a Halifax pier. Heaven, Heaven knows. knows. And Heaven anything goes. goes. This is the life of Bo 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 Bo. By side, by side, by side. Actually, are one of the major inspirations for doing the Colbert Questionnaire. No. Describe the rest of your life in five words. What? I am out of here now. Favorite smell? Forks. <laughs> Let's do this dog and pony show. Hold the ponies. Waldo here loves literature. He just devoured the complete works of Faulkner, and he'll poop it out any day now. Take a bite and never smile. Oops is potato. <laughs> is potato. <laughs> Sweeping the country. There was one small business that really caught my eye. We even made a commercial. Hashtag Colbert Small Biz Bump. Redmond's popcorn. Unparalleled design. Unrivaled comfort. And able to pop from zero to 60 in 2.3 seconds. Say hello to my two friends, Liberty and Fair Play. Come on, let's get up, let's get up. Stay tuned. Exactly. Yes! Oh, hey! <laughs> ah. oh. Ah. I'm not gonna 
gonna fit in that. So if there's some relationship between my faith and my comedy, it's that no matter what happens, you are never defeated. You must understand and see this in the light of eternity and find some way to love and laugh with each other.